Right, we're here with uh, defense coordinator, Coach Dave Cohen. Coach, number one, welcome to Western Michigan. Thank you. Um, new defensive coordinator, fans all the time want to know uh, what kind of defense we're going to have this year, and that seems like it's a question every year. What would you say would be the personification of our defense in 2010? Aggressive. Anything more than aggressive? Aggressive. What gonna, about it will be aggressive? Every part of it. We're going to play through the whistle, and we're going to play a lot of guys because it's the tempo and speed that we're asking our players to play. It's going to be tough to go 70 snaps of that. So, you know, we're looking for basically 18 or 19 starters working at the 11 positions, and we're going to play like our hair's on fire. And it's going to be snap to whistle every play. And one thing that I'm sure Bronco fans um, will remember from Western Michigan's game against Hofstra last year was how hard you guys hit us um, on uh, Hofstra's defense. Just, is that something you also want to incorporate is hard hitting? I think it, I think they go hand in hand. You know, we're looking for effort. We're demanding effort. We're demanding a mentality of attacking the football. And I think when you do that at the speed and intensity that we're going to demand, uh, you get results of hard hits, turnovers caused, and, and just a general passion and enthusiasm to play the game. Um, Coach Rich Nagy also is on the staff uh, with you and with the defense. How important is it to have him as, as uh, a part of the staff when he was your defensive coordinator at your last stop? Well, it's huge. You know, Rich and I were a big part of turning a Fordham 1AA program around in, in the late 90s where I was a defensive coordinator and, and, you know, ran the front seven, and Rich was a big part of the secondary. Uh, and he was the secondary coach. And now... Uh, and then we go to Hofstra, where I was the head coach, and Rich was the defensive coordinator. And, and all, a lot of the package has grown, but the terminology and the basis, uh, you know, amongst the 12 years has grown. But, you know, the, the uh, hardcore uh, underlying philosophy of being aggressive and that sort of stuff stays there. And, and it's big to have Rich. He's a great football coach and, and, and a great teacher and communicator. The defensive side of the ball at Western Michigan, all new coaches, um, of course, you want to. You don't want to have to worry about cohesiveness on the coaching staff. Um, what's one of the the good things you've noticed early in the process of getting ready for spring ball? The best thing I notice is right now we're all here without our wives and families, and we love to eat. <laughs> so between the Roadhouse and Burdick's and some of the other great places in town, we can eat. And we've gotten a lot of good good discussions about X's and O's. We've used salt salt and pepper shakers and uh, napkin holders and and all sorts of things. You know, because we're here until our families move out, it's given us a chance to bond not only in the film room but also, you know, socially outside of, of, uh, of the office. Spring ball, it's 15 practices um, before you break for, you know, for the kids break for summer. What's some of the things you want to see or some of the goals you've set for spring practice? Hardness, effort, demeanor, just understand how to attack everything. we got to get off our heels, get on our toes, Will we blitz? Yes. Will we play base? Yes. But it's more of a mentality, first and foremost. It's not about scheme. It's about mentality. And, and we're going to play with an aggressive mentality. And, uh, it's going to be a practice, 15 practices of development, emotionally, mentally, and physically. So I'm excited to do it, and we have some work to do. And I think the players are excited to do it. We have a lot of players back with experience, and uh, we're hoping to add confidence in there, too. A um, little sub, something off the subject of football. We're getting into the start of baseball season. Uh, you and Coach Esposito, both from New York, Yankee fan. Huge Yankee fan. Coach Cubitt from Philadelphia area, huge Phillies fan. I think Philly's one of the better farm teams right now in the baseball league. And, uh, you know, they have about a third of their championships. So <laughs> I think they're really doing a good job and working their way up to double or triple A. Okay, so I guess the answer to the question is there's any rivalry going on before we hit to the season? I think the answer would be no. Okay. I think the Yankees are one of the best teams in Major League Baseball year in, year out, and I think the Phillies are one of the better minor league teams <laughs> year in, year out. Excellent, excellent. I'm sure Coach will love that. Coach, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you.